it's Dan from Fun Kids. Let's do some semi-final predictions. One last one. Yeah. Most important question. What's your favourite type of potato? <laughs> I don't know that I have a sophisticated understanding of all the varieties of potatoes. Not the chip? Chip is alright, but we would call it a fry. It's not just me though, is it? When you look at him with his pointed jaw, narrow eyes and bald head, he does look a little bit like Lord Voldemort, right? Because you're about to play my own footy emoji game. <laughs> so what I've done, um, these are emojis, they're a football team. You got, you got that with John? Yeah. Right, so this obviously oh. is... Chelsea. Chelsea, there you go, Chelsea. Right, here we go, number two, what's that? <laughs> You're a Champions League winner, John, mate, here we go. Uh, right, two more left, I promise. So next up is Twinkle Toes underscore one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm not even sure what this one is. I mean, look at the shirt. Uh, some yellows in there, a little bit of orange. Is it a fire? I don't know, is, is the kit on fire? Am, am I on fire? Actually, this is quite scary, really. Quite a lot of you have drawn me on fire on this thing. I, I mean, look at this. You've got Maddie Pop Jam 005 that has my hair on fire. It's I'm here at the Clearwater Marine Aquarium in Florida with its CEO, David, and dolphin trainer, Abby. Is it about seeing your team entertaining you, playing some really attacking football, or is it about winning? Is it about staying in the Premier League at all costs, no matter if he sends all of their fans to sleep? Kind of confused me a little bit. It's made everything I thought I believed a little bit different. It's exploded a mental mind bomb. Anyway, less of that, I think Chelsea will beat West Brom 3-0. Now, Morgan, you yes. played Dr. Cameron McCarthy. Now, yes. in the first film, you were a bit reluctant at first to kind of help Winter out, maybe what a bit... What do I know about dolphins? What do I know about fish? I mean, come here, give me a break. Maybe, yeah. a, bit, maybe a bit grumpy at first. A little bit. What yeah. about in the next one? Are you still a bit grumpy? Yeah. So there's good news. Uh, I've done some research online, and I think I've discovered that my great, 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 Great grandmother was actually Welsh, so come on, the Welsh boys. So I've seen on the Olympics that the athletes tend to start like this, uh, crouched down, ready to pounce. So at least I'm getting my technique right first off. So we've got three. I won't be happy without leaving this interview with just one X Factor secret. Please, something that no one else knows about living in the X Factor house, the live shows. One thing that we don't know, Amelia. Mm, See, he's so tame, I can even stroke him. What are you doing? A talking reindeer. No, it's me, Dan. Dan the man, Dan the big man, the big man Dan, a human. Oh, Dan, what are you doing dressed like that? It's Christmas, Owen. Oh, right, sorry. Can I have a ride then? I'll give you mince pie. Fine. 